Alright, what's up guys and girls? Um, today I'm going to be teaching you, well fellow members of IMVU, how to do some pretty nice skin edits. Um, I'm not the master, but I can help a lot of people with uh, basic skin edits. So, what you want to do is first you want to take a screenshot with control, alt, print screen. Well, that's how you're supposed to do it on a full keyboard. And now that you get a screenshot, I prefer to... Um, just, yeah. Once you get the uh, picture, uh, most, well, hopefully it's in a green room, you want to select tools, selection tools, and by color select. So, I'm just going to select the green and select edit, <sighs> cut. So then, I just want to select, uh, select, select, none. So now, <clears throat> you're left with a transparent picture basically so what you want to do is you want to select the blur tool and get a really small tool and zoom in about 400 200 percent depending what you're using and just change the rate to about 70 75 and uh, sort of smooth out all the crooked edges um, all the rag, rigid, rigid, uh, crooked edges that um, IMVU's graphics uh, show. So I'll just do that. It'll take about a uh, couple minutes, and uh, let's take care of that right quick. Sorry, guys. I would speed up the. Uh, thing but I don't know how to do that yet but when I find out I promise you oh what is this not good I don't know what that is anyway we'll just continue this You want to do it to your clothes too. Because, you know, it'll just look better that way. So, almost there. And make sure you also do the inside, especially the eyebrows and around the eyes. That's where it gets pretty bad at. see how we're going along right here see you can notice a big difference already so let me finish around the glasses and the eyes
tool right quick to get around the inside of the lips. I'm going to need to change the rate up a little bit. I'm going to get as close to it as I possibly can. So, now that we're done with that, which is just the first step in many, many different steps, you want to select Layer and New Layer, because now we're starting to get to the actual editing. So after that, you want to select Windows, Dockable Layers, and Layers. And you want to have the new layer, uh, layer selected and you want to select the paint brush tool and then you want to set the uh, brush size to whatever fits your picture and select white so now what you're going to do is you're going to highlight all the lighter spots of your face so I'm going to do uh, more close to my head my little edge of my nose so under my cheeks Chin, some of my lips, um, part of my ear, uh, cheeks, and after that, you just want to select filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and then you want to change the <coughs> radius to. I don't know, depending on how big the image is, it might be different, but I'm probably going to set mine to about 24. So right now it actually looks a little weird, but I'm going to show you what to do in a couple of seconds. So now that it's been blurred out, you want to select Mode and Overlay. So now I'm going to change the opacity a little bit downer. I uh, made it a little too strong lower the opacity for it all right so now you have the <coughs> uh, lighter part of the picture so select new layer once again and do the same thing you did before except now use black as a color and you want to do what you did for white but instead of putting white you want to highlight all the darker parts and uh, so that would be more under the chin and you want to add a little shading uh, over here around the nose under the lips uh, above the eyes a little bit and then uh, if you want to add a little cool effects go around your hair and under your head uh, well I'm going to go under my head so and then around the cheeks just where there's a lot of shading just go there so we're going to do the same thing, probably with the same um, amount of blur radius. Select that. So now you can see a pretty big difference in how it looks. <laughs> so you could, you can leave it at black, which is what I prefer a lot. Or you could adjust it as you did with the white with overlay, which will give it a, a lot different look, but it'll still look better. I prefer normal. And I'm probably not going to lower the opacity, because I, uh, or maybe a little bit. I actually think it looks pretty good right there. So now now you see a huge difference in the skin. So, um, that's basically how you edit skin. Of course, after shrinking the image and, and with more time, you, you're going to be able to um, do a lot more to the avatar. But as you can see, with this quick little um, thing... We went through a, a lot of uh, changes, so unfortunately I didn't save the image, so I'm going to need to undo history and go back, so go all the way back to the beginning. We went 
get from this to the other one we had. Um, so, yeah, uh, there was a lot of changes just with that quick little tutorial, and I hope with what I gave you, you can get better and better and um, make really, really nice images. So, thanks for watching the video once again, and peace out.